Hello, and welcome to A Word of Hope for Monday of the fourth week of Ordinary Time. I have to tell you that yesterday I received uh, a message from my nephew working in Georgia. Beautiful picture of a sunrise in Georgia. He gets up and works very, very early in the morning. And it was a beautiful photo of another stunning sunrise and many of us have seen those often. They take our breath away, don't they? They're so beautiful. And I was so impressed with my nephew's awareness of that beauty and his desire to share it, especially since he's the nephew who struggled for 10 years with drug addiction, really had a rough, rough life. He had one, his family had one, all those who loved him very much had a rough time for about 10 years. Now he's married, has a son, an adorable daughter, and he is so in touch with the depths of his own being and God's love for him and God's love that flows through him to the rest of us and God's love in the sunrise. It was wonderful to receive that from him. In the throes of those 10 years of his suffering with addiction, I never would have thought we would be able to receive from him preachings, even through Facebook, in his posting this beautiful, beautiful sunrise. In today's Gospel of Mark, Jesus expels a legion of demons from a man who lives in the tombs, a place where demons and evil spirits hung out and possessed people. And it's a tough story. It's a story of healing. It's a story of Jesus expelling the demons from this man. And then it's a story of the man running throughout all of the territory, proclaiming what Jesus had done for him and becoming as powerful a witness and as powerful a voice almost as Jesus himself. It's a sign of the conversion that's possible for everyone, absolutely everyone, whether they are confronted with drugs or alcohol or sexual addiction, whatever it is, a sign that the power of God can turn our lives around. The man ran off and priest, preached all that Jesus had done for him. And the first lesson is to us, do we tell others what Jesus has done for us? Do we witness to the glory of God in our very own lives and help people come to believe in that same God? And the other lesson for us is to never give up on people. Never, never give up, even on those who seem to be making horrible mistakes with their lives. Never give up on them. God will not give up on them, nor should we. God bless you.